There, Elon Musk has attempted, he is, has admitted he is not sure his takeover bid for Twitter will be successful. Surely the more important question is why the boss of the electric vehicle firm Tesla wants to buy the social media firm in the first place. Musk says he's offered $54.20 $54. a share, which values Twitter at an astonishing, wait for it, $43 billion, that's $43,000 million, or £33 billion. Musk says he's the right person to unlock the company's extraordinary potential. He said if the Twitter board rejects his offer, he would need to reconsider his position as a shareholder. Tesla, which Musk controls, currently owns 9.2% of Twitter's stock. Musk says the offer should anyway go to a vote of all shareholders. One such is Saudi prince Awalid bin Talal, who has shunned Musk's bid. Maybe that's because Musk says he wants Twitter to take a more hands-off approach to policing the platform's content. Twitter's banned certain users, of course, not least former U.S. President Donald Trump. Is that why one Washington Post columnist, Max Boot, tweeted he is frightened by the impact on society and politics if Elon Musk acquires Twitter? Musk seems to believe that on social media anything goes, says Boot. But for democracy to survive, he argues, we need more content moderation, not less. Meanwhile, someone else... GB News presenter Nigel Farage, no less, a friend of Trump, responded on Twitter, this is the best news for free speech in years. Musk has been attacking Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg also, calling him the Sun King, given what Musk calls his total power over Facebook, WhatsApp and Instagram. The two tech giants share a contentious history. Musk once publicly deleted his company's Facebook pages, tweeting that the company gave him the willies. So what are Elon Musk's motives in trying to buy Twitter? Business, free speech, attention-seeking, all three? And that's our On The Money question today. Why does Elon Musk want Twitter?